Um, now, this is very relevant when you're trying to think about how the media represents um, um, Muslim personalities, um, the so-called Muslim terrorists. No, it's more than five minutes, I think. Um, that these people, um, and this is a kind of a summary from lots of the work of um, um, professors at different universities that I'm going to mention in a minute. Um, refugees nowadays, many of them are from Asian origin. They constitute partly the, the Muslim other. They come to make the system. Um, they eat our bread, they take our jobs, they benefit from our education, but they are the enemy within. They are the problematic other. This is how ethnic minorities and nowadays Muslims, how they are seen in the media. I think um, um, probably the, the most worrying example has been the association of Islam to terrorism, Islam to Al-Qaeda. And uh, unfortunately, this is the, the very present picture with regard to the normal um, um, members of the public. White, English people, beyond the London area. Go to the normal towns and cities, and this is the picture you get. It takes you huge effort to get through to people and make them realize that actually Islam is not Al-Qaeda, Islam is not Osama bin Laden, Islam are not the perpetrators of 7-7. It takes you a lot of effort. But this is what the media in a nutshell has managed to do. Very unfortunate. Um, lots of reports with regard to um, um, the Islamophobic messages have become many actually. And the social scientists and people who, who are doing the watchdog road with regard to uh, following the media have become unable actually to take record of what's going on because it is definitely a lot. There is a huge amount of research. I wanted to take the issue of um, um, uh, the, the issue of the uh, hijab and how the media um, treated the issue of hijab. If some of you remember Jack Straw when he um, threw that uh, bombshell uh, a couple of years ago in his constituency to start talking about the Iqab and how it does put him off um, to meet a Muslim woman and uh, how the mainstream politicians also, David Cameron and others, picked up the message and also got on the, um, um, basically, on the debate in a very negative way and how the BNP got into the debate, and how some of the people who, who have a, um, a long standing in the media, especially in the press, got into the debate. The debate started off from Muslim women as being oppressed, forced by their um, husbands, brothers, fathers to wear the hijab, to wear the niqab, whatever form of dress they were wearing. This is what um, uh, one of the one of the, um, basically, findings of uh, a report done by a colleague from uh, Brunel uh, University, um, uh, Millie, uh, Millie Williamson, in an excellent article she published in one of the journals. Uh, in addition to some of the work I've been doing, this is where the message moved from. Muslim women are oppressed. And then the message moved down to something completely different. As Muslim women actually uh, they are not op oppressed anymore because Muslim women manage to speak out and say it's our choice. Discourse in the media moved to something else completely different, which is Muslim women with their hijab. They actually they have big, they, they, they are affecting our way of life, and they are forcing themselves on our culture, and they become a threat to our way of life. This is the the message I'd like to deal with everybody in their minds. This is a Muslim woman. This is a nun, a sister. This is where the Bible places the issue of the woman's dress. The world is changing 
And Christian women do not prefer the word address. That's because of problematic of their choice. But that's what the Bible says. This is where the picture of Mary, or the Virgin Mary, we see in the churches and in everywhere, in museums and so forth. So I always said to, 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 to people, what's the problem with this then? Is it because it's Muslims and Islam and Muslim women? If we think that this is a traditional historical sister who chooses to be religious and chooses to remain in the church, and if this is the historical Mary, which even the West itself do not show it without a veil, what's the problem with the Muslim dress? And people will actually stay stunned. This is the reality which the media denies. That's the reality which the media doesn't get to. That's the reality which even the BBC itself, when it comes to the issue of hijab, it doesn't indulge into comparing what's actually going on. That religious women, be a Jew, Christian, or Muslim, that's actually what, are, what they are supposed to wear. They're meant to reveal their face and their hands, and that's it, and nothing else. So why do we demonize this? And why do we think, oh, that's politically correct? Holy. And holy, actually. I, I, I leave you there, although I've got a lot to talk about. Um,